see you all, but if I... <laughs> So I can't find my glasses, so I had to wear my, I'm wearing my contacts right now. So I think I can see. So if I just give you general notes tonight, <laughs> I might just be like, you guys are so good. <laughs> I, can't really, I can't really see the details of you. Is he unavailable? No, I can see you, Jordan. I can hear you, Jordan. So uh, I haven't talked with my contacts in a while. I just can't see close up, really, is the thing. So, all right. Uh, Sandra O oh was talking about you know, her career, and basically the advice that she gave for young actors was basically like, just focus on being a great artist, that it will take care of you, it will sustain you, it's really the only thing that you can really do in this business. And I started thinking about, a part of me got really excited about it because I thought, you know, at 20, this 20 years that I've been teaching, and I was like, I really do feel like, uh, <laughs> Jesus, I do really feel like that's really kind of what I'm a part of helping people discover, that you're all artists. You're more than just actors. It's great to be an actor, but at the end of the day, jobs aren't always sustainable just as being an actor. And I think the totality of being a creative being is more than just how you define yourself. And I was talking about an artist is how you see the world. An artist is like having a curiosity about what it means to tell stories and be creative and make an impact and acting as one part that sits in the artistry of your own life. And I think, to me, what's interesting is like, it's like the prosaic versus poetry. And so I think the challenge about LA, living in LA, is I think it's a very creative place. But I, I sort of posed to the group last night, I was like, would we have the same views that we have about our city of LA if we were living in another city? So that's always a, and I don't know, because from a Buddhist perspective, wherever you are, there you are. So how you perceive the world, you would probably perceive the world the same way if you were living in Scotland or London or Arizona. <laughs> Maybe that's that. <laughs> Just scratch that last example. But, but, but I do think this is the challenge in LA in particular. It's a very creative place. There are so many artists here, forward thinking people, and it is the heart and the hub of creating content. And yeah, so that's where the poetry is. And yet, in our daily lives sometimes, if we just get caught up in the next job and getting the job, and focusing on just the job. It becomes prosaic, which is dull and unimaginative, if you don't understand that word. And that, to me, is the challenge, is that we live in such a, a, an amazing artistic city, and yet all of us, myself included, go through stretches of periods of time where we're like, WTF? <laughs> what the heck is this about? This is a dull existence. And I think that stems from getting stuck in sort of only living for a booking. I was at the gym yesterday, and it was so weird. This girl I met, I was talking to an actor, a friend that I know, and this girl, <laughs> she was doing leg lifts. I was just curious what she was doing, because she said she had a bum knee. And like she didn't even answer the question. She just started talking about all these jobs she just booked. And I was like, I didn't ask you that, honey child. I want to know what leg lift you were doing. So to me, it just made me, it just is yet again one of these actor conundrums where we define ourselves by, I just had a producer session with, with George Lopez last week. Okay, that's great. That's, I want you to get that show. But you're more than the booking. You know what I mean? So I think it's important for us to keep trying to celebrate that you are an artist. Everybody in here has become an artist. And that's something to really, I think, remember when we go through the, the challenges that this, this business can bring up for you. That that's the real reason why we're doing anything. Jobs come, jobs go. Some jobs will be fulfilling, some not so much. Some will pay the bills, some you maybe do for free. But I think it's really the mentality that we bring to the work that really makes the work be what the work can be. Not everything that can be counted counts, and not everything that counts can be counted. That's the exact quote. Mm -hmm. That's the truth about an existence here as artists in Hollywood. So let's just keep focusing on being better artists, being better artists, seeing the world from those artistic eyes.